Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. Today I wanted to show you a couple of the new stoves that we're going to be offering. Uh, one of them is a three-point stove. Looks like this. This is very similar to the MSR brand uh, Pocket Rocket. Now I've got one of the Pocket Rockets. It works really, really well, but it cost me about $40. Uh, this one is very similar. I'm very happy with this one. It comes out of Hong Kong, and we're going to be selling this for about $20. Now this goes on top of a normal uh, fuel container. This container is very common in Oregon, where we're from, but over on the uh, big island of Hawaii last week, I went to about nine different stores looking for that fuel. I did find one. Unfortunately, we couldn't bring it with us to Molokai this week uh, because we had a little plane flight. So. Uh, anyway, over here, it was impossible to find. Now, fortunately, I had the crew send me one of these. Now, this is an adapter that adapts the most common kind of fuel that you're going to find, certainly on these islands. Uh, this fuel is also found where we're from. Um, it is a butane fuel. It's got a bayonet-style connector on the end, and obviously, these stoves don't fit that. Uh, so... I had the crew send me this adapter. Now this, uh, we're also getting out of Hong Kong. These are going to be on the website pretty soon as well to, uh, to help you be able to use other kinds of fuel sources too. So if you do run into this kind of situation, you can buy the really common fuel, this is very inexpensive, and adapt it. Now the way this works is this has a bayonet style connector and you just line this up like this and put it in position and rotate it. Okay, now that is able to uh, mate with these stoves. So the stove would just screw on top of this, uh, just like it would on top of a normal uh, fuel container. And then, here we go. And then you can just spread that out and light it like normal. So this sits flat now and uh, is a perfect fit for a small cup like this. Uh, this happens to be the cup charger, and that's one of the reasons I was trying to find a stove uh, that could use this kind of fuel with the cup charger instead of actually having to build a fire. The three-point stove does not have electronic ignition, so you just turn your valve on, get a little bit of gas flowing, and then light this just like normal, and then you can control the amount of flame that you want. Now, this also fits the new four-point stove that we're also going to be selling and uh, that just screws right on like that. Now this stove happens to have electronic ignition so what you do is you turn the gas on and you can hear that flow a little bit and then you press this button on this side and there you have it. We have another new stove and this is one that we didn't take to Hawaii. It takes this kind of fuel and to tell the truth I thought this was going to be hard to find in Hawaii and it turned out to be the most common kind of fuel. So anyway, let me show you how this one works. It's fairly compact, not quite as compact as the other ones, uh, the three-point and the four-point stove. Uh, on the bottom are these legs and these flip out like this. Uh, makes it kind of look like a spaceship. On the top are these pot supports. Now these rotate out 45 degrees and lock into position. Uh, so it looks like that. It's got electronic ignition and like I said it uses this kind of fuel. Now this is a bayonet style connector and uh, these two mate like this. You hook it here, you put it in position, and then you rotate it. This has electronic ignition so you just turn the valve on press that button and there it goes. If you compared that to uh, one of these butane stoves, this is one of our four-point stoves. You can see it's about the same height, uh, but the horizontal footprint is a lot larger on this one. Now what it can do though is uh, you see that it can handle a much larger pot and it's a lot more stable on the top than uh, this little four-point stove. So if you've got a pot that's fairly large, this is a pretty good way to go. Now one thing that came up on our trip was we had several days that were really windy and I wished that I had some kind of a windshield with me. So now that we're back in Oregon, we found a source for them and uh, we have those on the website right now. We have two sizes. This one happens to be about uh, five inches tall. It extends to about 26 inches. Now the uh, two ends can be connected together if you want to. There's a pin here 
and uh, this interlocks with the other side. So you can make a circle or you could take two of these and uh, extend your windshield if you wanted to. We have these in two different sizes like I mentioned. This one, uh, the larger one, is about nine inches tall. This has eight panels but it's about the same length and it works with pretty much all the stoves. Uh, here you see the new square stove that I just showed you a minute ago. Um, and this one is the three-point stove with a large fuel container. This is the four-point stove with the small fuel container. And this will also work with the quick stove. Um, you could use it with the firebox stove, um, any of those stoves. It's a nice height and uh, there's plenty of room for your pot if it's open like this. Um, if you wanted to, like I said, you could extend this and add a second one. Now this is the small windshield and you can see that that's no no use at all for a large stove like this. This one is really intended for smaller stoves like something like this. Uh, this is one of those homemade uh, pop can alcohol burning stoves. I don't know if you've seen these before but they're really cool. They burn out pretty fast. Um, they run long enough basically to boil some water but they're a pretty neat stove. It also works really well with low profile stoves like this, uh, solid fuel stoves. This is uh, called an Esbit stove. It's something that we've sold for years. Uh, we don't currently sell them, uh, but they work, they work very well. And uh, this kind of windshield works perfect for that stove also. For TheEpicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out. <laughs>